what what could be with what is this road um, has been in my opinion let go um, in terms of maintenance what can explain what all this is what well we're just looking at a small section of the road that we just drove over to give you some idea of what's causing the um, the rattling in the vehicle it's what's called washboard it looks a lot like an old-fashioned washboard and um, it's a sign of uh, lack of maintenance essentially this is what we would like to have taken care of it's probably along with the ruts which come from rain um, although there's limited rain here it's probably the thing that most visitors would like to see um, smoothed out okay. but our belief is not that it needs to be paved certainly it simply needs to be maintained um, is there any indication that it's being less maintained now than it was previously we just don't know that I don't know I'm only coming from my interest in doing this today was generated from having driven the South Road uh, a few hours earlier and understanding how a road that was really much worse than this can be transformed if, in fact, you bring a couple of graders out and you grade it a few times. This road, to, although I am not in any sense a highway transportation expert, um, this road does not appear to be worked on. It may be... One can only guess that the reason San Juan County would not want to maintain it. Uh, the logical conclusion, what one would jump to, would be that they would want to make it as um, impassable as possible in order to prove that it needs to be paved. But we don't have any... any uh, we have no proof of right, any of that. Right, right. It, um, Who owns this? I mean, this road is going through all kinds of property. Who owns the property? Uh, Part of it is on BLM, Bureau of Land Management. Part of, part of it is tribal, Nav mainly Navajo. Uh, there may be some private ownership as well. We're not sure. Okay. Where's the money coming from? What's the, what's the well, deal? the money was granted by, it was earmarked by Tom Udall. It's $800,000 at this point. Uh, it's a two-phase project. It's the first phase in 2006. The county is already done with supposedly just county funds, local road improvement funds. The second phase is coming in in 2008. And we believe at this point um, there's going to be an environmental assessment, which is going to cost the county a quarter of a million dollars at least, um, beginning very soon. This is We're shooting this video in 2007. Let me ask you a question here. Um, now the county has this money from the feds. Could they, could they use that money, to your knowledge, just in maintaining this road? I mean, just like blading it more often, or? Well, that's been the position of the Sierra Club, the Rio Grande Sierra Club of New Mexico. It's the position of the San Juan Citizens Alliance. It's the position of the Chaco Alliance, and many others uh, that paving should not happen. That the increase in visitation is too severe an impact on Chaco and that the money should be put into improvements other than paving, such as good maintenance, good signs, more frequent maintenance, gravel, and so forth. Okay. I you, believe we can make it look like the South Road. Okay. Do you, do you have a, an idea or an impression of what the park park's position is on, on, on the road or, or non-position or whatever? The park cannot take a position. They've been told that they are to uh, essentially... Um, go along with the county at this point anyway. There has some, there is some change in that to be fair to what's going on or to more accurate. I mean the park may become a consulting party to this, um, to the whole process and I think they will have some input. But for a long time um, the instruction to the park from the regional office was that they were not to have a voice in this, that this was a county road and not their business. Mm -hmm. Part of the process of completing a statement is a uh, a meetings that will be held in um, where will, where do you think they'll be held or what's your at this point we don't know okay. where the public meetings will be held we we the rumor and again it's only rumor is that there are only going to be two of them we're certainly going to push for many more than that the Albuquerque Tribune has just written an article an editorial that opposes the paving the uh, New Mexican from Santa Fe has just written an ed editorial that also opposes the paving clearly this is an issue uh, that transcends San Juan County. Uh, this is a World Heritage Site, one of 20 
uh, in the United States. And so meetings should be held throughout New Mexico, certainly in Albuquerque, Rio Rancho, Santa Fe, and other places as well. Okay. In terms of people that are concerned about Chaco, visitors to Chaco, people that really love the park, what would you say in terms of how to get their voice out? What, what, what can they do, as the public can do in this situation? Well, they can certainly write to Barbara West, who's the superintendent of Chaco. Um, they can email um, the Federal Highway Administration here in New Mexico. Um, those sites, you can get those sites offline. Um, you can email the uh, commissioners, commissioners themselves in San Juan County. Um, it's important you can attend the meetings. I mean, actually, to show up and actually be vocal and have a voice is very important.